Hey you guys, we're back here for part two of the office flip. Uh, if you have not already seen part one, uh, definitely pause this video and check out what we did prematurely to set up the space. It does include painting a faux marble wall, which is right behind me or in front of me, um, and lime washing the walls vertically. Um, in this video, we will be going over part two, which does include wrapping up the entire project uh, with flipping the office. That does include flipping three pieces of furniture from my media console to my desk and to an Ikea bench and the overall styling and big reveal of the office. You may already see a sneak peek behind me of what that looks like. I'm very excited to share the overall end result of this project. It has been a long time coming. Um, and I will say I've had the opportunity to already work and edit some videos out of the new space and I will say it has been really comfortable from the new office chair that I got to the new direction that the desk is facing um, and to even viewing some of my video edits on the TV behind me and screencasting some of the edits so that I know that it's ready for YouTube has been really rewarding so I'm loving the space already and the general flow that I came up with so sit back and really enjoy this last portion of the video it's a very short one now if you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, I have a few more DIYs for downstairs that I've been thinking of um, definitely follow me on Instagram because I've been a little bit more interactive on some of my projects that I want to take that way I could feature it on my channel and kind of understand what my viewers are interested in seeing or watching me flip uh, or create. So I do have a few light fixtures that I've shared on my Instagram, so definitely follow me there so you're in the loop of the content that I'm creating over there. And I do have another client remodel coming up. It is a destination one for a fellow YouTuber slash family member. So I'm very excited to get that process started. So don't forget to subscribe so you stay within the loop and follow me on Instagram just to follow uh, the other journeys and projects that I pick up from there. So without further ado, wait, hold on. Let me grab, you know, this room um, I've stated it is, you know, makeshift of different things from DIY to workspace to lounge space. Um, the most important part is it's my little dog's bedroom. So for those of you who don't know him, this is Little Drip. He is a rescue, he's hitting three years old, and he's been really patient as we remodeled his bedroom. And I must say, I think he loves it. There are some times where he escapes my bedroom at the foot of the bed. And when I wake up to go pee in the middle of the night, I'll see that he is laying on the carpet or on his bed in this room or looking out the window. Um, so I must say, we are both benefiting from the new realized space, so yeah. And he's just so cute, he matches. Say bye, Drip. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. So up first on our furniture flips is our bench here. You could see in the previous boho style how those natural warm tones in the finish help kind of just bring in that warmthness that boho typically has. So when attacking this in the flip, I wanted to create a monochromatic look using the lime wash paint. This is the IKEA Skogst bench. I think it's roughly around $100 and you can find it on their website or visit your local store. Uh, to help prep this, I did apply one coat of primer and about two coats of the lime wash following the same techniques that I did with the walls just to ensure that it had that natural movement that we got with the lime wash so that it blended really easy into the walls. Now up next is our desk flip. This is a carbon loft Fowler industrial computer desk that I've purchased from Overstock that I've had for some time. Now that everything is pretty tonal and cool tones in the office, this desk was a complete eyesore. 
Now, if you watch my channel before, I have used this product. Um, it's called Retique It Wood. It's a three-step process where step one is to lay out the paint. Uh, I chose to go with the light wood as I have done so before. It just rendered really great results for me, so I knew I could trust it. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't watched that video on how I flipped some IKEA hack shelves to make it look like reclaimed wood, it's the same exact product. Um, you're gonna wanna apply this in long strokes, that way you don't see any inner Eruptions in the natural grain of the wood that you're covering or the surface that you're covering. I applied about two coats and went in with the briar smoke stain. Following that same technique, you want to continue moving in long strokes so that you don't interrupt that natural movement in the wood grain um, and definitely concentrate darker stain in areas that you would like to appear darker. I went in about two coats of the stain just to make sure that it gave me that real natural wood color that I really liked and if you compare it to the original you could see an immediate change where it's no longer this warm dusk that stands out in the space so I'm really happy with the outcome. And last but not least, we are flipping my Rattan Media Console, also purchased from Overstock that I've had for some time. You can find it in the description box below if you're looking for a similar product. But I started off with sanding this down just to make sure that the paint has something a little easier to adhere to. And of course, we are using the same warm wood, retique it wood paint along with the briar smoke, following the same exact techniques that you've seen with the desk, following those long strokes for the application, and both the paint and the stain to avoid any natural or or disruptions in the natural uh, grain of the wood or surface. So now that the furniture flips have completed and are dry, it's now time to start the styling. And this is my favorite part of any project because it helps just tie everything in together. Now given that the office is monochromatic, I did want to introduce pops of color and then decided to bounce off of the greens with the plants and introduce that into my objects like the bookends you see here, uh, the vessel that I found from CB2, just really love that modern look and the handles and the shape that really helped elevate the space. I've had this R House vase for quite some time. And one of my favorite ways to style my vases is to change it up with seasonal stems. These are snapdragons that I've purchased from Michaels. Um, and I do like to shop around. You'll see these amaranthus are from Create and Barrel. They have a more realistic, but they are a little bit more pricey. Uh, but I decided to bite the bullet because of how well they look and how interchangeable they are throughout the seasons. I uh, love the drama and how they hang and add that drama to any arrangement. Um, and to add more of a leafy stem, I purchased these magnolias from CB2 just to kind of give that warmth and just to fill up the space. Uh, if you guys are interested in more floral arrangements or tips on that, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to create more videos or even post it on my Instagram, some tips on that. Now for the seating area that I'm creating here, uh, there are a few products. I'll list them here on screen and also in the description box below. If any of you are interested in purchasing or checking out where I found them, uh, but I wanted to create a space that allowed me to just detach myself from my desk, but still manage a comfortable seating area for me to work on my iPad or from my laptop, even have lunch or have some coffee or take a break. Uh, I really wanted to create a more comfortable modern space for me to sit now I do love that the chair is low enough for me to sit and visit Drip. Sometimes I do become overloaded with so much work that it is nice to just step away from my desk and see how he's doing and just give him a little attention that he loves. One of my favorite way to style a shelf is by using books. And a little tip if you flip them around so that you see the pages, it does help create more of a monochromatic style and avoid any kind of distractions that your eye would see with the text. Really great way to add levels. 
Now when styling, I've been making more of a conscious effort to incorporate artwork and what better way than to go with an independent artist that I've already shouted out on Instagram. So definitely check them out. Um, I'll list them in the description box below. When I was browsing for artwork on Instagram, I did happen to land on this reel um, and I just love the really minimal concept that he had and I just thought that it would paired really well with my flushed uh, shelving uh, to just have these three images uh, and pieces of work uh, showcased in my space so thank you thank you again Gian for the amazing work um, I'm very happy with the outcome and just love seeing these amazing pieces of work in my space when I walk into my office so if you guys haven't check him out visit his shop and support independent artists Now with the shelving above my desk, I wanted to focus on making it a transitional space where I could not only style but also decorate some of my desk equipment like my microphone, my headphones, my camera, etc. Uh, this just made it for an easier way to increase desk space above the desk um, and make it more comfortable for me to work in. Now to help conceal the breaker box located in the office, I did DIY a canvas painting using the lime wash paint and some of the taupe color that I used on the marble wall. Using joint compound, I created some abstract shapes to help conceal that breaker box. Now when styling the bench, I did go with books to help create the levels. I did DIY a concrete remote control holder and pulled out some vases from our house and Target that I had in my stash. That does conclude everything here for the styling and now it's time for the big reveal. you again for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos and we'll see you soon